that sounded great. My first guest, this is unbelievable. She's a double Grammy winner at 15 years old. She'll be debuting her new single, Feels Like Home, here today. We, this is our first time we've actually debuted a single, so this is very exciting. But we're going to talk to her first, so please welcome Leanne Rimes. <laughs> You look great. Thank you very much. And thank you for being here. Thank you for having us. Because I know you have a busy, busy schedule, don't you? Yes, we've been, uh, I've been on tour since December 31st of last year, basically New Year's Eve. And I have like uh, just a few weeks off here and there, but we've been on tour like constantly. Constantly? So. Yeah, we'll finish up September. When you say on tour constantly, how often are you, how often are you home? Um, Pretty much, we like for the past all, all through the summer, we've stayed out usually a month at a time. Right. They're off for about a week or two. <laughs> you just go home for a week. So, yeah. Where is home? In Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. And it, well, that's close to the Pecan Museum. Yes, I know. <laughs> They're like forty-five minutes from me. Forty-five I have minutes. Have to go visit. Every time you get home. I have to go. That's why. And where is that? Where you're from originally? Um, no, I'm originally from Jackson, Mississippi, and I moved up to Dallas when I was six. So I've, I've been there most of my life. When you were six, you mm -hmm. moved? The whole family moved? Yeah. Right? And how, when did you know? <laughs> All of us. I just thought you just went, I'm fed up with this Mississippi. <laughs> I'm going. I'm six. I've had enough of it. Yeah, I but thought I was old enough at the time. When did you start singing? Um, I started singing, actually, um, on stage at five. And But my dad has taste me singing at 18 months old, so... 18 months old? Mm -hmm. You were singing? Yeah. I was drooling. <laughs> I just I don't have any words coming out of my mouth. Really? What, what would you sing at 18 months old? Um, like, Jesus loves me, you're my sunshine, and I, like, I love to say the Pledge of Allegiance also at 18 months old. I don't know what the deal was, but I have Re this, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. At 18? Well, that must have been so cute. Is yeah. that on tape? Is that on audio yeah, tape? Yeah, my something? dad has, has me singing. Oh, I'd love to hear that. He's, like, playing the guitar and everything, so. And then at five? At five, I started on stage. Professionally? Mm -hmm. Where was your first... Um, gig I started I started dancing at two and a half and um, like tap and jazz and stuff and I took that for about ten years and um, but when I was five I started doing like song and dance competitions and like um, doing a little tap dance and singing so how, how old were you when you did Star Search I was eight eight when you did because mm -hmm. you won for two weeks well, right one week you won one week yeah but th to me it seemed like two no oh, you, yeah, yeah. I was on two weeks but I won one you won one mm -hmm. and you and you lost the second week mm -hmm. But where is the person you lost to? I don't know. You don't know. And look at you. So it's a no. good thing sometimes no, to lose. What, what happened was they like they had um, my music was like totally messed up. So right. that kind of threw me off at eight years old. So oh, they were played the wrong track or something. It was no, it was the right track. It was just like there was a modulation when it switched keys and it just did it I like wrong. I hate when that happens. I know, don't you? I no. hate that. You're just getting in the number <laughs> modulation key switched. Thrown off. Totally thrown off. <laughs> I hate so, when that happens. That's okay. So you spend all this time on the road. Mm hmm Now, do you have, where are you, do you have friends in Dallas? Um, yeah, I, really my friends. I've, I guess I've had to grow up in an adult world pretty fast, and I've, I've uh, had to grow up fast, I guess, and most of my friends have always been a lot older than me, um, and I, basically, a lot of my friends are, like, on the road with me. My whole band, I've, like, they're, like, my big brothers and sisters. I love them to death, and, uh, and basically, I have a lot of friends out here in LA, and just and um, some in Dallas still, and just you know, I just love to go visit when I'm off the road. So. And what about school? What do you do for school? I'm homeschooling, and I have a tutor. So. Bus schooling, I think. Bus schooling, yeah. Yes. Pretty much. You're home once a once yeah. every month. Exactly. That's not a lot of school. I know. <laughs> but, so. So, but that's kind of fun. Your life is like a field trip. Mm -hmm. So you you. <laughs> pretty much. There you go. <laughs> Isn't it? But so you have somebody traveling with you that teaches you. Yeah, I've, uh, you know, taken off some for the summer and everything, but... Uh, like everybody. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I usually have a tutor sometimes that travels with me, and then I, I take my courses at a Texas Tech University, so... Um, You're in university already? Well, um, it's like high school, kind of, like, pre-college courses. <clears throat> but at 15, you're in pre-college? Kind well, of. It's like, yeah, it's, it's kind of high school, pre-college. Have course. you accelerated? Are you ahead? Yeah, of... I actually skipped two grades. I went from sixth grade, I took a test, and moved to ninth grade, and so... Wow! <laughs> Cool. What subjects are you good at? Do you have I a favorite you subject? Know what's very funny. Um, I hated math in like sixth grade, and like when I moved, I just started doing algebra, you know, and everything. And I loved it. I really love algebra. It's so weird. I hate geometry, though. I you know what makes you it. love math? What? When you start getting paychecks. Well, that yeah, I know it's exactly. <laughs> when you're getting.
When you're getting the cut of the album, you better know how to divide. Exactly. <laughs> I know that. You'll learn fast. It's tough to tell a kid who's sitting in school not getting anything, but you, you better know your math. They get their allowance. You they know. do. That's they get mine. You, you get a much more than allowance. But that's pretty cool. What do you do with uh, all the money? I mean, you're a working person. What do you do? I am. Um, I save a lot of it. Good. And, um, yeah, I put that up, you know, make sure I have my future money ahead of me. Um, and then, you know, I just, I get to, I love to do, like, stuff, you know, just, just you shop? stuff. I love, yeah, it's, it's like a really bad habit of mine. <laughs> it's a I bad habit? Say, well, yeah, I just love to go shopping. I get bored, like, on the road. Do you have road. credit cards? Yeah, I have a credit card. You have a credit card? <laughs> I How pay cool? it off every month. I have to say that. It's, well, like, paid off. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> <you> go. No! <laughs> When you have when you have a hit on the Billboard charts, as long as you've had the, ch the hit, oh, yeah, you been, can pay it off. I've been very lucky. I've you been are really very lucky. And so. very talented. You Thank deserve you. all the luck that you have. Thank you. So do you, as you go shopping, do you go to the malls, or do you mm -hmm. go, do you hang out in malls? Do you go? Yeah, to... I go to the mall. I mean, like, when we're on the road, we get bored during the day. So right. basically, we either, we, um, we like, take up, we take up sports. Either we love to bowl. We, I love to play softball. So, like, we've started, like, for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital as, like, the charity I work really really close to and we always play like baseball games with a radio station that's in town right so of course we've like we're not great but we love to have fun and we love to raise money for the charity so what position do you play i play third third, third base, base and, and shortstop so it's pretty cool. you're delightful i want to talk to you more okay. about what you do on the road Very and cool. about i know that uh, you're coming up on 16 so i want to talk to you about your driver's license and <laughs> you're a wonderful yodeler and yes. I want you to teach me how to teach yodel. You. You're going to teach me how to yodel. So we got a lot to do. Okay. Leanne Rimes will be back with more right after this. Close captioning for the Howie Mandel Show is brought to you by Conan. This has been a CBS News special report. I did it right, so that was good. That is good. So I got a second chance. Oh, that is great. Yeah. And do you, have, do you have in mind what kind of car you want? Um, actually, I have a, a couple. You have a couple cars. <laughs> When you said you love the shop, you love the shop. <laughs> no, 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 no. I am. Um, this is kind of cool. I got a BMW from from my record company for Christmas. Wow. And um, yeah, I've just it been very, very lucky with the car thing. Paramount. I love it. The Paramount. The people that do this show uh -huh. bought me a Hot Wheels set. Oh wow! <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> and, um, My dad just gave me a Dodge Ram pickup truck. You got a thing. Dodge Ram pickup truck? Mm -hmm, and I have an Explorer. And yeah. you have an Explorer. Mm -hmm. You have three cars? I do. And, uh, They're all black. I have this thing so obsession how do you choose? with black. I don't know. I just, I love my BMW. I really? Have to say. Yeah. So you go out in the morning, you choose? Yeah. You're like Jay Leno. You're like Jay, Jay Leno. I'm not that bad. Yeah. You got like a hundred cars. Every day a different car. But you never get a chance to drive them because you're always on the road. Yeah, I do. I'm, I never, they like sit there, basically. I mean, they sit I'm, there? Yeah. You don't go out? Are you dating? No, I really, no. No? No. Nobody? I have, no, nobody. I have really good just guy friends. Guy friends. That's guy good. Friends. Well, you know what? You're young. You can keep it like that. You don't need commitment yet. <laughs> right? Well, I have well, a 13 year old daughter. Yeah, I don't want, no, I don't want you to say you want, I have a 13 year old daughter who's two years away from you, so I'm saying hold back, because no, the longer you hold back, daughter. I can say to my daughter, Jackie, look at Leanne, uh -oh. she's, she's not. Oh, so don't, don't put any pressure on me whatsoever. Yeah, for my kid. Yeah, you're thanks. Saying. Now, you're also an amazing person, because not only are you a, a singing sensation, you also wrote a book, mm -hmm. right? And you, and that book got turned into a movie, and yes. you acted in it. Mm -hmm. Yes. How old were you when you wrote the book? I, well, this was just last year. I wrote, wrote it when I, I guess I was 14. Um, 14. I co-wrote it with an author. His name is Tom Carter, and he came with me. With the, came to me with the idea of the book, and it was a fictional Christmas story, a little bit autobiographical, mostly fictional, and um, it's called Holiday in Your Heart. Right. And uh, got written, got put out as a book, and then uh, we did an ABC movie on it. So wow. It's very cool. You want to pursue acting? You want to continue acting? Um, yeah, I do. I think that's my next thing. I really would love uh, love to do some acting. I'm going to take off the road when I get through the tour. And um, I think until the middle of next year and start touring again. But I think I'm going to try to do some uh, a movie in between there. Wow. Well, I'm sure you'll get whatever you want. Now, when you're singing, mm -hmm. one of the things that I, I read about you, you had the, the big hit, Blue. And right? yodeling was a big part yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. Now, you're known for your yodeling? Yeah. Well, this, well, I, I don't know, I guess. No, but <laughs> no. I mean, that's... Well, what it, what it was, um, Blue was written by Bill Mack. Um, right. who was a radio disc jockey in Dallas. And he wrote that song for Patsy Cline like 30 years ago. And right. she never got to record it. Right. And um, 
I heard the song and actually I had to fight my dad to hear it because he didn't want, he's like, I, you know, this is not a good song. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. So I basically pulled it out, listened to it myself, and um, I loved it. Um, I knew there was something kind of missing, so I put this little yodel thing in it. Yodel? Mm-hmm. How do you yodel? How do you... It's just like a break in your voice. That's all? Yeah. Well, that happened to me when I was 15, oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> but but that break in my voice is over. <laughs> Let me hear you yodel. Can you just yodel? Yes. How do you yodel? There you go. It's how, just like a little... How do you like, do that? I don't... Oh, Ooh. you... Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. They love it. They love it. You Hopefully should do a duet. This... Pardon me? You should do a duet. I would do a duet on, with you before. Now you're gonna do your debut from your new CD. You're gonna uh, do it on our show a little yes. later on, so you're gonna hang out. Yeah, this is very here. exciting for me. We're gonna, and you know who's coming up next? The Ch pecan guy. Oh, the pecan guy. Yes, he's got his own pecan museum. So stay right there. Right. You stay right here. This is great. Coming up on the Howie Mandel Show from the Young and the Restless, Joshua Ball. Young and the Restless star Joshua Morrow and the Con Museum curator B.W. Crawford. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Howie. We're back, and all the way from, what are you, 45 minutes from Leanne Rhymes' house, right? Is that where you have this museum? We have the creator and curator of the world's only pecan museum, known by his neighbors in Denton. That's how they know you as, the, the neighbors know you as the uh, pecan Picasso. Please welcome B.W. Crawford. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. You. Now, you have, you actually take pecans, mm -hmm. right? And tell us what you do with them. Well, see, I went into the uh, pecan cracking business. You're in the pecan cracking business? Yeah. Because people can't crack their own pecans? Well, not if they have a lot of them. They, not if you have like six yeah. or seven of them, then no, you want you, somebody. You BW, several, crack these. So a lot of people have several hundred pounds. Oh. You want to say you run them through the machine. Right. So you used to run. Uh, Pecans through the machine. Yeah, and watching, watching them go through the machine, uh, certain ones of them look like certain people, uh, shaped like certain people's heads, famous people, you know. So you were looking at these nuts going by, going, hey, look, who's yeah, that? Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> and, and I could see the faces in them, see a picture, yeah. picture of their faces. You could picture the stars. So I started uh, uh, painting their faces on them. You painted the faces. So we should show you some of the ones that he's done. This here is one of the very first ones that you did. Tell them who this one is, B.W., this is? Uh, John Wayne. John Wayne. <laughs> Made entirely out of pecans. Now, do you actually paint these yourself? Yes, uh-huh. Is there certain people that you enjoy painting? Well, yeah, women, women more so than men because they have a lot prettier faces than the men. <laughs> so the women you do? What are some of the women? Maybe we can look at some. Well, let me show you this. This guy's right across the hall. This is, why don't you tell them who this is? Who's this? Yeah, that's Jay Leno. Jay Leno. And, uh, this is Jay Leno, and he's sitting at his desk with... Uh, with the devil and his wife and uh, the little devil. Just like he does on his show. Yeah, and, okay. and, and they're probably, their conversation is probably they're, they're wondering who's stoking the fire now. Right. And the bins are gone. Right, and this is, right here we have... Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton. Now, Dolly, I had to use... Real... <laughs> I had, to, uh, I had to find a little bigger pecans for Dolly because she's known for being top heavy. <laughs> right, so you used really big pecans. Yeah. I, and, and who doesn't love Dolly's pecans? That's right. All right, and, uh, and over here we have... Now, this is... You actually have a museum, mm -hmm. okay? And how many people would uh, come through your museum? Oh, on a busy weekend, uh, maybe two. <laughs> Well, that's a busy weekend. <laughs> Do they stand in line and wait for you to punch a ticket? Or? No, no, they don't have to. That's a busy to, weekend? Yeah. Was this past weekend really busy for you? No. No. How many came through last weekend? Zero. Zero. <laughs> well, maybe after they see this show, because who, who wouldn't run to see this? Well, see, a Who's lot of this? people don't know I'm out there, right where I am, you know. Where are you? In Shady Shores. Shady Shores? Texas. Mm -hmm. Shady Shores. People don't know right where you right are. outside of Denton. And where is the museum? It's in... Uh, on the property in the back of my house. My in the backyard? Office. Yeah, backyard. In the garage? Yeah. I it's have in the a, garage. I have a double garage. I got a feeling a lot of people watching have their own little museums. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not people. <laughs> <laughs> and this one's kind of neat. 
This one's kind of neat here. Tell them who this is. That's Howie Mandel. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes I feel like a nut, and sometimes I don't. Right. <laughs> this is amazing. And uh, who are, are you working on one right now? Oh, this is one. What is this? Look at this. Well, that could be Leanne, because uh, she'll be probably my next uh, subject. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Leanne. Yeah, I don't think she's done yet. What is this? No, no, no. See, I, I left one undone. <laughs> I left one undone so you can see how they were. Oh, they these were are how they're made. Yeah. This is this is not even done yet. Yeah. That's oh right. wow. Well, this is going to be you, Leanne. <laughs> Wait. Wait till we won't, we won't show this until she's fully dressed. How long does it take you to make one? Well, to make a celebrity, about three days. Makes, so, it takes three days to make a, a celebrity. About a sixteen-hour day. How about just a neighbor? Well, no, they, they don't take long because they don't have a, a specific face on them, you know, that people recognize. It doesn't take time to make a neighbor, but no. three days to make a celebrity. Right. Yeah. You have neighbors that don't have well, specific I'm, I'm faces? Used to, I'm used to seeing celebrities on uh, TV or... Or, or in, a, in a nutcracking yeah. machine. Yeah, right. So, here you have the Pope and you have Marilyn Monroe. Just explain who this is right here. Who's this? That's uh, Dan Quayle. When he couldn't spare potato, that's the way I saw him. <laughs> oh, he's wearing the dunce cap? <laughs> yes, yes. I see what you're doing. E.W., you are certainly a pleasure, and I'll tell you something, with this kind of publicity that we're giving you here, yeah. next weekend, three people. <laughs> I hope so. We're going to be back with Joshua Morrow from The Young and the Restless right after this. On the next Howie Mandel Show, Party of Five's Jennifer Love Hewitt, Parenthood's Curtis Williams Jr., and the amazing Raspini Brothers. And now, here's Howie. Welcome back. My next guest was voted by Soap Opera News as one of daytime's sexiest men. He plays, and apparently by my audience also, he plays Nick Newman on The Young and the Restless. Let's look at a clip of him on The Young and the Restless. Watch this. Yeah, yeah. hold on, Grace. What are you Shh. doing? This is a very important phone call. I need to... Nick will get back to you. Please welcome Joshua Morrow. I played six sports in high school. Wow. I had scholarship offers in three of them. Wow. Your dad's a coach, isn't he? Dad's a coach. He uh, coached me my whole life. We moved all around. See, I'm from Oklahoma. So I actually lived in Texas for a while, too. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Have yeah. you ever been to the Pecan Museum? Well, I, when he was talking about those two people last week, that was me and my uh, dad. <laughs> I've been in there, right. man. You can't... I want a pecan, though. I want one. You want to, can you make one? When you look at his face, can you spend three days making oh, one? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll work out. You'll model for it a little later. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You got to look good on, on a nut. So you didn't, did you actually go and pursue um, sports? Did you try to become, well, how far did you get to be a baseball player? Well, I played in college for the basketball team, and then during the next season, I was going to play for baseball. But right. then I got my job and quit school that minute. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I went, let's see. Baseball, oh. soap opera. So I took, I took this soap one. Opera. I'm having Pretty a great cool. time. It's yeah. just, I love my job to death. Are I'm, you uh, dating? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. Now, if you were to date, what is an ideal date for you? Oh, I don't know. A uh, two-time Grammy winner would be. Just... <laughs> Why do I feel like Chuck Woolery? <laughs> <laughs> I think I just made a love connection. Yeah, well, you know. How old are you? I am 24. 24? Yeah. Is that cool, Leanne? That's great. Oh. 
<laughs> you heard it right here on Howard. <laughs> okay. Right. Will you actually go out? No. Nah. Will you go out? Well, because we'd like to send the camera crew along with you. Oh, <laughs> and and VW. We'll get some shots of yeah. Z about it. You stick around. You talk about it. And we'll be back okay. with more right after. <laughs> Stay tuned because Leanne is going to, Leanne Rhymes is going to debut her new single in just a couple of minutes. We're back. This is very exciting. It's our first debut on this show, debuting her new single from her CD, Sitting on Top of the World, and the single's called Feels Like Home, Leanne Rhymes.
Yeah. We have, I want to tell you, first, thank you so much for doing that. I want to talk about upcoming guests. We have Whoopi Goldberg, Wesley Nielsen, Jamie Lee Curtis, and many more. I want to thank my guests today. I want to thank Gus Ross. Thank you very much for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Carter, Leanne Carter, Leanne Lund. The new CD is called Sitting on Top of the World. Goldie, Goldie in the Studio One Band. I want to thank all of you. And I want to thank you. I'll see you tomorrow.